Such a singing mood at the minute because Ocean's kind of learning to sing. <laughs> that sounds so silly, but I will capture at some point in this vlog the way she like. I don't even know what I'd call it, but she does like a baby version of singing. It is the cutest thing in the world. I reckon I I know how to do it. But I'm gonna... Ocean, should we do some singing? Should we do some singing? I have um, on her white noise machine, there's a setting where you can make it do like a little bit of a, like a baby melody. It's like, dun, dun, dun. And she's like, oh. <laughs> Obviously not like that, but it's so cute. Anyways, good afternoon. We've just been to the park, haven't we? And we walked past a charity shop and I picked this up. It's literally, it's brand new. And it's, I got it off the shelf because we always got like to just go in the charity shop. So, over in the town, don't we? And this, oh. this is our favourite one because it's the hospice that my granddad stayed at. So if I ever see anything I like in there, I always like to support. And this, just her face lit up. It's just, I don't even know what it is. It's like a little wooden, it's not, I wouldn't even say it's a car. I mean, it's got wheels on it, but as you can see, obsessed. So you got a little tree, didn't you? A little Wednesday tree. Is it Wednesday today? I'm currently, as we speak, get in i'm hoping it goes up tonight my new vlog up i've got been a bit like slow with the uploads but i really want to get back on it just because i just miss it I, I miss the days when i upload like twice a week and i probably could but my last upload to be honest i was waiting on approval from a brand so sometimes it can't be helped but anyways feeling much better this vlog compared to the last one i feel like we just had a cold for so long and yeah, this one's going to be super chill because I literally have said no to like all plans this week. I just can't see the week at home. Today my cleaners have been and I just feel like the saying tidy, what is it? Tidy space, tidy mind is so true. I just feel way better that it just seems pretty, t I mean I've just come in and my coat's there, ocean stuff here, everything is kind of everywhere right now but it's tidy right now. Ocean, I've got my leaf up. Oh, we just got this from the shop and she's obsessed. What is it? What can you say? Bubble? Say bubble. 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 Thank you. She's so excited by this. I can't even open it. Do not copy me and do this, okay? Ooh, ready? Bubble, 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 pop! Bubble, 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 pop, bubble, pop. Oh, you're standing for ages, good girl. Bubble, 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 pop. Ready, one more. Daddy's gonna shower us because there's gonna be the bubbles all on the floor. Bubble, 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 pop, bubble, pop, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble. Good girl! Bubble, 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 pop. Bubbles is our new obsession, isn't it? Bubbles and ducks. So when I saw this in Tesco just now, they've obviously got all their Easter stuff come out because Mum's day is gone now. And I got, I literally picked this up and again, like her face lit up with, I mean, she probably would light up at everything I pick up, but this, she's obsessed. What's this? It's a... A duck! Clever girl! You're too clever. We're too clever. I feel like the jump from 10 months to 11 months is crazy. I just feel like she's a toddler now. Like, she's not a baby. We literally just went to the park and I was trying to, like, get her on things that she's way... Obviously, I was holding her, but way too little for. But I just forget because in some ways she seems so advanced and so much older. 
that I have to remind myself that like, she's not even one, but she just, in so many ways, just, she's my little toddler. Like, I feel like she understands most things I say. But can you wave? Can you say hi? You say hi, everyone. Wave in. Go and give kisses. Can you give kisses, please? Good girl, Beefy. She understands everything. No, don't forget, though. Yeah, bubble bubble. About the bubbles. Yeah. Oh, are you vlogging today? Are you vlogging today? Can you do? Can you give everyone a big kiss? Can you do big kisses? Kisses. Mm. Oh, nice. Someone's trying to butter me up. Go on. What have you got, me? No, I want you to guess it first. You gotta take my friend. So he's come in and said, "You might want to get down on one knee." I'll try and give you what I've got for you. So it must be chocolate. Because last night he came in. No, what are you actually after? Because last night he came in with uh, Easter eggs. No, I wanted to get on myself, but I need to keep on mine and get you on yourself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, cream egg. Correct. That's one. Wait, um, have you seen this one? Though? Unpredictable. <gasps> no. I don't know if I'll... Will I? I don't know, but I, I did get stuff. It was like two for three pounds, though, so it was... I'm actually also trying to lose weight. Yeah, I know. This one, this one's gonna knock your socks off. That's that one's not all that. Marvelous creation. It's like a, I've never seen it in my life. Uh, okay. Let me think. Let me think. What do I love? Like s'mores. Just no, no, no. Chocolate, simple, plain, simple chocolate. What? Doesn't White chocolate. Might be. Guess. Look One it. guess. What? Like a bar. Yeah. Bar. Well, who? Cadbury. No, I'll give it away the same as one. Last try. Um. My final guess is... You're like, go to, like, you love it. White chocolate buttons? Close, but wrong. Ready? Milky Way. Oh, I have seen this, but like, I've never... Is that it? <gasps> yeah, that's right. No, that is unreal. My mouth is watering, but I'm trying to... I'm just, I need to have dinner first. That's why I'm not like... Hmm. I thought I'd get better reaction. No, 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 that's really good, thank you, but I am also like... No, don't have to eat all. Thank you. Honestly, you are trying to butter me up for something. I don't know what, but yeah, this is the second day on the trot. He's come home with chocolate. And then come smell this perfume. Kylie Jenner's new perfume. Yeah. You like it? Mm. I like it. Kylie's new perfume. Good yeah. morning. Good afternoon, I mean. Ocean's just gone down for her second nap. And Nan's round. We were going to go out, but we're going to go out when she's woke up from her nap. I feel like this middle of the day nap really eats into so much of the day but i'd rather have the nap and then we're gonna go out when she woke up but literally barely done anything so i don't know where the day's gone we're gonna go and make some lunch because i had a new hello fresh order come yesterday well yeah late last night so i've been excited to eat some of the meals so let's go make some lunch before we head out and then we're gonna go to like a toy shop or something to start looking at stuff for ocean's birthday number six On today's menu, I'm gonna be making lemon and herb sea bass in garlic butter. And big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of today's video. You guys know by now how obsessed I am with HelloFresh. I've been working with them for years. They make my life so much easier. And I'm on a bit of a, you're probably bored of me saying this, but like a little bit of a health kick. Gymming, running, trying to eat healthier. So I am trying to grab for the healthier options i've been gravitating towards fish a lot more just feel like it's a lot lighter i'm enjoying it a lot to be honest and it's easy to create healthy habits with hello fresh you can do like calorie specific or you can do family meals if you have a bigger family you can obviously pick how many people in your household so i actually did pick the three just because sometimes nan's in and out and i can obviously make food for Cass later in the day because he's at work at the minute but it's all explained on the back of your card how to make it. You do not need to know how to cook at all. I feel like since I've been doing HelloFresh though, I've got a lot more confident in the kitchen to be honest. And ends up saving you money. There's no waste. Everything's pre-portioned. But let's get cooking. As always, I've got a discount code which I'll leave on the screen. I actually don't think I've had one for a while. So special treat. If you've not used HelloFresh, you need to. Seriously, it will change your life. This might be my best code yet. Not only do you get 60% off your first box, you get 20% off your next two months of boxes and a lifetime of free desserts. Did you hear me? Lifetime of free desserts, people. SMC 2024, make the most of this because I don't know if I'll get a code like this again.
also white noise machine making songs and making music. Are you going to be a singer? Oh, I love you. Should we go to the shops? We're going to go to the shop. Should we go to the toy shop? Ocean's first time in a big toy. Actually, we've been to... I know, but they've added eyes now. If you are a 90s baby, if you didn't have this red and yellow car... <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, we did go to Hamley's, but it wasn't like this, was it? We're in Smith's Toys Superstores. When I was little, this shop was called Toys R Us, Bubba. Can't talk too much in here because of the music, but I'm gonna look at the next car seat up, which I've mentioned on Instagram we need to do. So she's obviously currently in like a little infant carrier, but we need to move up to, I don't actually know what these are called. In my head, that it's like a, the next like kind of toddler car seat. Um, but we're gonna speak to some of the staff and just see what's what and what's the best. And I want her rear facing for more, as long as possible, so which one she can stay in the longest. Ooh, this one's a favorite. <laughs> I think that Do you wanna put that on your birthday wish list? Yeah. Myself. It's not letting like me to go shopping and buy basically nothing. I bought three things. Granted, one was quite a big purchase. Come into the middle of bed, please. This girl has no fear. So, obviously, the big purchase was Ocean's new car seat, which we went for the I don't know if you say Joey or Joy. The, the staff was saying Joy. The J O I E 360. I think it's called. I'll insert that picture. But when I put a question box on my story the other day, that was by far the one that people were recommending the most. And yeah, I liked that I went into as even though I put on my story and I appreciate the feedback so much, I still kinda had in my head that I wanted to go into a store and talk to someone. Yeah, so that's what we went for, and we went for a spin base again. Wow. We actually haven't used the Isofix for her infant carrier, so her recent car seat, in a little while, to be honest. We moved it out of the car for a bit, and then when I put it back in, even though it was all in properly, it kept beeping, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically, we've got... <laughs> she's crazy. With car seats, if they're not installed correctly, they will beep, and... It has like a traffic light system on it, so it will be red if it's not in right, and it will be green if it is okay. And it was all green, but it was beeping. Boring story. So, because it kept beeping, I just took it out because even though it was absolutely fine, it, oh my god, you're literally going to be making people feel seasick the amount you're throwing yourself about. We took it out. And I was just strapping it in the old fashioned round and across kind of thing. So I had in my head like, oh, maybe we won't do ISO fix again. But I kind of tested it in the shop and they have like a fake car seat kind of thing, um, car chair. And just because it's such a big chair, they're a lot bigger than the original ones. I quite like the idea of the spin base and it wasn't a lot more expensive and more so than the last car seat we won't be taking it out of the car so that's what i went for and she looked very comfortable in it she liked the idea that she was sitting up my nan sat in the back of her just because it was getting a little bit late we've just literally walked through the door and i'm running the bath it's bedtime in half an hour so she was getting a little bit windy but my nan said she was like really liking how she could like look out the window and stuff anyway that was a long version of me saying i got a car seat i got so funny that she has no idea that we were buying her birthday presents in front of her i've got like a not to ruin everything but i've got a big board coming if you follow karis whittaker i didn't actually get the idea from her i saw the company already did it and it was coincidence i'd already ordered it and then karis whittaker's done it for her little girl mabel and it's basically a big photo of miss rachel and whoever your baby is and they make it for you and the board has actually come we've not opened it but it's just like outside her room at the minute in a box and then i'm thinking of doing our own little balloon arch i mean i hope i'll vlog all this when we oh my god i can't believe it it's gonna be so soon i feel still feel like it's something i'm talking about that's so far in the distance but it's literally like under three weeks away or three weeks away so i feel like doing a balloon arch around it maybe and that was 9.99 which i felt was so good that 70 balloons in there for 9.99 and then I saw these when I got to the hotel and I really loved them with playing in my face. And that is all I got. My nan went to town. She got loads. Um, I can't even think. She's kind of gone down like 
for her birthday the baby theme like doll and it's so nostalgic because I remember as clear as day I was obsessed with my baby Annabelle so it looks so different to when I was a baby I might have to google in I guess it would have been like the 2000s the early, so I'm 97 baby but she as soon as she saw it she was like kissing it and stuff so I was like oh my god like she needs to have her own baby Annabelle so my nan's gone for that and she's getting all, all like wooden cots Ram. and then I picked up something and my mum was like let me get it I, like, I literally don't know what I'm gonna end up getting her and it's like a little vanity because she sits with me when I do my makeup and she goes for all my makeup it's all like wooden makeup things her bath's gonna be getting so big yeah we've started the birthday shopping which is exciting but scary and um I just can't believe it but yeah bath and bed and then <gasps> two <laughs> what are you eating? Oh. You have no idea that this is for your birthday. <laughs> and then I need to make dinner for me and Dada. Yeah. Have you had a nice day? Have you had a nice day? <laughs> <laughs> have you had a nice day? <coughs> Did you pick some birthday presents? And you went in a car. I'll insert the clip of her in the car. It was so cute. She loved it. But I'm thinking, until we have a well until we move and have like more space for this stuff i don't think i'm gonna be getting the cars and stuff but i honestly don't know where we are gonna put my stuff when we share the party because i'm aware that everyone buys a lot of presents oh good lord good morning happy friday it's run day already i'm gonna take all the gear no idea but i do have a little bit of an idea i think i'm gonna go for about 5k i'll see i'm gonna join my uncle's partner because she's already started a run this morning but she's doing like 18 miles something stupid so i'm going to join her she's going to text me when she's like a couple minutes away tala zip jacket and then i've got a matching green uh leggings and sports bra on from usa pro sophie haboos collection and then water in a lucas Air bottle and my airpods are not in there I'm gonna to listen to the great outdoors. Good evening. Yes, it's the evening. So I checked in with Rena this morning before I went for. I was gonna put the big light on, but you don't wanna. It's, it's too late for that. Um, I went for a run at. God, I don't know what time. And I ran 6k, which I am pleased with myself. And now I've got a night to myself. Something about me, I love solo night I, I mean i say solo night ocean is asleep downstairs but you're currently balancing on the monitor and a nice bath with a relatively help it's not healthy it's a takeaway it's been nice. I've gone for katsu curry <laughs> sorry that's hilarious that i said it's healthy <laughs> i think because i was choosing between sushi and curry and i Sorry, that is hilarious. It's a prawn katsu curry. I mean, it's... So the sushi was my first healthy option. But then I saw this and I loved it. I ordered Little Moons, but I thought I ordered three. That's fine. Anyway, get to the point. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say this was my second healthy option. And then obviously off the radar is like Chinese, etc. But really fancied curry but yeah Cass is out for the night well no he's not he's gone out for a couple of hours gone to watch football did he say i wasn't really listening to this i was just like yes i can watch what i want to watch like when he's here i love obviously love it when he's here which is every other night of the of my life but we can only really agree on like apprentice and dragon's den which i absolutely love but not everyday education, you know? <laughs> Sunday is chick flick. Sunday is Cinderella story, One True Hill. That reminds me of it. I've, I've restarted with One True Hill. I say I've restarted. I've literally watched like an episode and a half. Because I kind of have it on in the background whilst obviously sorting out ocean. And nine times out of ten I can't even hear it because she's so noisy. But here we go. So hungry. I'm not going to lie. I did order this about two hours ago. It's so weird. When I order it from this particular place. They give you like time slots. They must use like just a couple of drivers. And you have to be quick. Like you'd have to order at about 5 p.m. to get the first couple slots. And I think I was just a bit too late. So 
I ordered it about quarter past six and it's just come, it's half eight. So I've just been trying to keep busy because I've been so hungry. So I've had a bath, sort my hair out. Mm -hmm. Sorry, God. Also watched the Love is Blind reunion. This season, if you've not watched it, something to binge, season six, give it a go, it's so good. But anyways, I'm not going to completely bore you because actually, you know when you just want to eat your food and just kind of, I like, I kind of enjoy the silence when no one's in and no she's in bed because silence is rare. Are you singing again? <laughs> singing, singing, singing. <laughs> That's it. Ooh, some self-love. Can we see this outfit? This is a cute outfit. This is a nice jumper. This is from Zara. Hey. <laughs> Careful, Baba. Public service announcement. I have the world's best jeans on. I think I can finally say, hand on heart, I've found the best jeans. And I want to say, not to be dramatic, I think I've been on this journey trying to find the jeans for about five years. Oh, honestly, honest to God. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to have to prop you up. Let me find the tripod because this is this is important. I have just been out for lunch. We went to meet up with some friends that were over from Guernsey. And in my head, I thought I'd have plenty of time to show you whilst I was getting ready. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. But these, I honestly kid you not, not an ad at all. They aren't the cheapest jeans in the world. And I thought I found the best jeans from Zara, but now I've tried these, the Zara ones. They're a good cheaper option, but let me find my tripod. Ignore my bed, by the way. I've got the wrong fitted sheet on at the minute. I need the deep fitted sheets and I can't find one right now. But should we do our outfits of the day quick before I show my jeans? So like I said, Ocean Shampoo is Zara. New wave in. Leggings are F and F, I think. And then she's got a little bow in her hair. We actually, I'm gonna open it in a second. I ordered a couple of soft shoes for her from Next the other day. Cause she's still, she's not walking yet. So we can't really put her in real shoes just cause of her thing. It, you shouldn't do it until they're walking basically. But, oh, these are things with cameras. I need it to be the level of, I'm just gonna show you my outfit. <laughs> it's very boring, but trench is from i never see gray trenches anywhere new look this bodysuit is from Abel oh abercrombie and fitch and so are the jeans these jeans i'm gonna show you with the bodysuit and then i'm gonna undo the bodysuit because i really like where they sit on my um like this area as in they're not high rise i wouldn't say they're like low rise they are perfect in my opinion they just fit like a glove i don't have a button but i feel like they're flattering enough and let's go really low so you can just quickly see the length i'm doing this for the people that cannot find the perfect jeans because it has took me like i said so long and i am i do think the price is worth it because I will get so much wear out of these. It's crazy. They come in different colours too, but this is the only colour I've gone for at the minute. I am going to put it with outfits and see what I'm lacking, what colour I want. So I've gone for the long length. They come in different lengths, which why do all trousers and jeans not come in different lengths? Like, we're not all the same size. And I have these in a size, I want to say 30. I'm gonna look at my email because I don't think I can see it from here. Oh, they're just 30 long. So I just got them in 30 long. I'll double check if there's any more information. But now I'm gonna undo my bodysuit. Okay, so the light is not perfect. If anything, these are a little bit too big for me, but this is the size I like on me. I don't like to feel really restricted by jeans. I know some people probably like to have their jeans really snug, but I like to go for a meal, sit down, and still have breathing room. But as you can see, it kind of just sits below my belly button. And I don't even know what else to say apart from this is my dream fitting jeans. Not high rise, where they're like giving me camel toe. I, however, I could wear them high. If I wanted to, I could wear them lower. But I kind of like to sit them ocean, leave the camera lower, like this. And in my opinion, these are the perfect jean. And they are the, oh, that was what I was going to say, the 90s straight leg. So they're baggy enough to be like a baggy jean, but 
they're not like super flared. Like you can get the weirdest cut jeans, honestly. <laughs> Each year but it kind of tapers a little bit at the ankle, which I really like how they sit slouchy like, around my trainers, but just a quick little turn how they are oh, i'm literally so so happy with them and they were 75 pound again cost per wear these are going to be worth every single penny and i know obviously even if you get jeans from i actually haven't i can't be bothered to go in and figure it out but uh like levi and stuff i'm sure you could find perfect ones as well that are almost made to measure um but they probably are in the hundreds of pounds i think levi's are about 100 i have levi shorts they don't fit me anymore i had them the year i went to america like a year before i fell pregnant and i've got them just to humor myself but i don't fit in them but anyway there's my ted talk about jeans Ugh. really well hiccups the next parcel next is random i always forget about it and then i see someone tag something really random and then yeah just a little bit of a stranger one isn't it but they've got some really cute kid stuff. However, in my opinion, they are more on the expensive side. But like I said, I kind of, oh, these are so, so cute. Oh my God, these hiccups, where have these hiccups come from? These are so stinking cute. Their shoes are quite affordable for baby. These are 10 pounds and they look like they're gonna be a bit big for Ocean at the minute but they're 12 to 18 months. I'll link all this down below. Oh my goodness, the little ballerina shoes. Do you like these? Oh, they're so pretty, aren't they? You can come sit here and look at the stuff oh. I got you. And then I got some little tiny pink ones without the crossover. They're nice, to okay, throw in them. And then whilst we're still in the colder months, these are so cute. She's got some little ones at the minute, we keep putting them on her still because they're cosy and she can't get them off because she does pull everything off like socks and stuff but they have brain nibs on them so she was due a little upgrade i will link all them down below and then i went for two little outfits shall we look because we we will be going away at mid april so i'm just starting to collect again it's a bit weird this stage she's in at the minute where she's get into the end of her nine to 12 month stuff, but she's also gonna be drowned by these outfits, luckily. I should know, cause I can't protect you at the other end of the sofa. And I know you just will fling yourself off. But yeah, she looks cute in oversized stuff. The jump she's got on now is 12 to 18 months. Bubby, I'm gonna have to put you on the floor cause you will fall off the sofa. Let me fly through this. We have a little denim. <laughs> How cute is that? Well, that would be really cute oversized actually. This was, Oh, they don't have their prices. I can't remember, but I think that was okay. That was quite reasonable. And then I'm a sucker for anything Minnie Mouse. I don't know what it is. The hold that Minnie Mouse has oh. over me. These little cycle shorts. It looks so cute on the little model. And then this jumper killed me. It literally killed me with the contrasting colored arms. <laughs> and it's so like off the shoulder and slouchy. Can you not knock my camera, please? This girl. You are determined for me to not look like you. Yeah. I am obsessed. Deceased. Look at this. Are you Ooh. crazy? I know. Da, da. Yeah, duck, duck. Good girl. That's a duck. That's duck. Good girl. And that's all I got. I actually got some bits the other day. Sorry, skip ahead if I should have said that at the beginning. If you don't have kids, most boring talk. But again, in that weird phase, she's kind of growing out stuff, but these are going to be too big. Long sleeve vest. I feel like by the time she fits in them, she won't even be in long sleeve vest, but it's something we need at the minute. I just feel really silly buying nine to 12 months when she's literally gonna be 12 months so soon. So she's gonna be the back end of it. This is actually stuff for me that I've not tried on yet. So I wanna hold them up just cause I feel like you can't really tell. Oh my God, some of this stuff is so cute. I got, I don't know what part of me thinks she's gonna keep this on her head, but I got a little cap. <sighs> This is so cute. Again, I'll we'll link all this stuff down below. So sorry, my hiccups are so annoying. <gasps> Stop it. <gasps> is that a bit big for you? <laughs> Can you say hat? Cat. Hat. <laughs> oh, what size did I get? Sizing was so weird. I feel like it was like six months or a year, a year and a half to two. But they said that she's on <laughs> she's on the bigger side of the heads. Good girl. Oh, this one's nice. 
That one has a cherry on it. This one says mini adventurer. This is cute. What's this one? Oh, this one's a bit smaller. That one fits her way better. Do you like it? Do you remember when mommy wore a hat the other day and you kept trying to take it off? Now you have your own one. And then, oh, here it is. So stinking cute. This with the little ballet shoes. Oh my God. Can you coke? Prima ballerina. Anything ballet related on babies as well. This, deceased. Why do they not do an adult one? I would have fully twinned with her. So cute. And then, told you, I don't know what it is. Minnie Mouse chokehold. Minnie Mouse got me like this. I'm paying Minnie Mouse's bills at this point. And that came with these little leggings as well. So that stuff was H&M. And then, yeah, like I said, a couple bits for me. I'll really quickly hold you up, but it's so boring. I don't even think I like that, because I like the sleeves to be a bit more baggy and dropped. But I thought that'd be cute with linen, like, pyjama style trousers. And then I got some white boxer style shorts and a shirt to match. And then some, this is what I pictured, like, linen stripe trousers with this kind of top i'll try them at some point but that is everything for now i do feel like i do a haul in every video but just try and keep you up to speed because people always ask what things i'm buying especially for her and my favorite thing to do is buy her clothes and stuff and i definitely will around around her birthday slash after do what we're getting her slash what she's got for her birthday because I've actually found it quite a challenge. This phase where they're interested in things, but then they've also got the attention span of like a goldfish. So let me know if you have birthdays coming up and you want me to mention things. Because we've got some ideas now, haven't we? I'm actually going to start to put this vlog together because I don't want it to be too long and boring. So if I carry on, I carry on. Have fun. But if I don't, we'll be back, won't we, Missy? <laughs> can, I have a, can I have a kiss? Good kisses.